morning. Three people are now facing federal charges after authorities say they bought guns illegally. Investigators say those guns were used to kill two Boone County Sheriff's deputies, Jacob Pickett and Terre Haute Police Officer Robert Pitts. News 8's Jenny Dreisler joins us live from downtown Indy with more on these charges. Jenny, good evening. Well, Mike and Brooke, investigators told me earlier today that those three you just spoke about used what are called lie and buy tactics to illegally buy some of those guns. Police say those guns were then used to kill those two Indiana police officers. But officials today during that press conference said that they want to use these charges to send a very clear, stern message to anybody thinking about buying a gun illegally. When guns are possessed, sold, used, are acquired illegally, it is never for a good reason. And the results are often tragic. In a press conference Monday, U.S. Attorney Josh Minkler didn't mince words when he announced federal gun charges against three people in connection to two fatal shootings of Indiana police officers. The pattern in both cases is crystal clear. Illegal purchases of guns illegal possession of guns, illegal transfers of guns. 29-year-old Don Rashawn faces eight counts of making false statements when acquiring a firearm. Investigators say Rashawn lied about her address when buying a gun. Police say they're still investigating exactly how that gun ended up in the hands of Anthony Baumgart. Police say Baumgart shot and killed Boone County Sheriff's Deputy Jacob Pickett during a chase on March 2nd. We will never recover from this. We will try to get back to what that new normal is going to be. But until you stand in an administrator's shoes and lose somebody underneath your watch, you have no idea how it affects us. Um, and we've been there in the last three months. Minkler also announced 33-year-old Tiffany Dean and her brother, 20-year-old Levi Brenton, also face a slew of gun-related charges. Police say Dean lied while purchasing a gun, saying she was buying it for herself, but then gave it to her brother. Investigators say Brenton later gave that gun to Chris Wolf, the man who shot and killed Terre Haute police officer Robert Pitts on May 4th. We hope this sends a message to others that they will be held accountable when they place firearms in the hands of those that should not have them. We know nothing can be done to bring back our friend. However, holding these individuals responsible for their actions will help us with the healing process. Okay. Now, if convicted, all three of those people face a 10-year maximum penalty for those charges that they were given today, all those counts. That means if Roshan is convicted, she could face up to 80 years behind bars. Reporting live in Indianapolis, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8. Jenny, thank you. Attorneys for Anthony Baumgart, the suspect accused of killing Deputy Pickett last week, petitioned for a change of venue in his murder trial that was set for July 31st. That July 31st trial, by the way, has now been canceled, and the state has 10 days to respond to a change of venue. In Vigo County, the man accused of killing three Terre Haute police officers, Robert Pitts, Christopher Wolf, died of a gunshot wound during the apartment complex shootout. Officer Pitts was the first Terre Haute police officer to die since 2011.